What is up, everybody? It's Superverse here today. Here we go with another game, my journalist, writing the most ridiculous things humanly possible. First, yesterday, it was Metro saying that, hey, because Hi-Fi Rush released, it's a great game, but we're going to deduct points because of the previous last year, previous year of Xbox lack of exclusives we're gonna deduct points now that was pretty bizarre a pretty wtf moment right there but now <laughs> this new publisher game rent says hey hold my beer we're gonna double down with the nonsense concerning this game so apparently for all the value xbox game pass offers subscribers the recent trend of adding games to the service without prior announcements is concerning <laughs> they're putting this like it's a bad thing that you know okay you know what you're gonna get a game pass because they announced the games you'll get beforehand so you kind of know what you're gonna get for that month but they're saying that hey game pass adding additional games is a bad thing now it's like what what sense does that even make? You getting something extra for free is a bad thing now. Imagine going to Baskin Robbins and getting a, a one scoop of cookies and cream ice cream. Then they give you another free scoop on the house and you get angry about that. Like, in the history of never done would that ever happen? Someone, someone gets angry about getting something that they want for free. Like, what? <laughs> but, you know, Game Rent has to, has to make this good thing that game, Xbox has done into a bad thing. It's like, what is going on here? It's just like, wow. How obvious can you be? Are clearly paid off, or at the very least, they bring in click slash views for their pro Sony piss takes? Too obvious. Yeah, it is kind of pathetic. <laughs> okay, so the person who wrote the article responded. I literally wrote this article this morning, so kind so go away with your he's pro Sony nonsense. Then what the hell is this article then? They're like, are you are you not are you that down bad for views on that website? It's like y'all need to reevaluate y'all. You need to reevaluate re re your situation. If you gotta make some ridiculous articles, like it's a bad thing that you're getting high fire rush, unannounced to Game Pass for free. Like really, ain't giving you clowns a click. We might be having another Kotaku on our hand, folks. I think these guys might be worse than Kotaku because this is just ridiculous. Yes, <laughs> we got a we got an amazing game for free, unannounced, and it's a bad thing now. Like really. And this is why games media is largely is largely viewed as a joke, lol. Sony bias is strong. Yeah, that definitely is. How is a surprise game dropping into Game Pass bad? I don't know. I'm not even going to click on an article to even find out. It's just stupid. <laughs> Touch grass and keep crying, UB. Yeah. For all the value Game Pass gives, adding more value that you didn't know was coming is bad? Question mark? How much does Sony pay you? <laughs> this has to be the most ridiculous thing I've heard today. It's like they keep one upping each other on being on saying the most ridiculous crap at this point. Uh, this game has really has really like uh, stirred up the industry right now. Like, and this hasn't been stirred about a Sony game. It's been stirred about Xbox exclusive that just dropped up out of nowhere. Like I'm just seeing the most ridiculous stuff each and every day about this game. Either from Sony fanboys or just like journalists in general. It's, this game is making people just lose their minds right now. Uh, Jim Ryan has taken over Game Rant. It has to be some of a major Sony influence to type this type of nonsense. Like, really. Xbox Shadow Drops High Fire Rush to critical acclaim and a universal hell yeah from Xbox fans. Game Rant is so Xbox is way off track. <laughs> There's a group of people cheering saying this game was amazing, but they're the only ones saying, Xbox, what are you doing here? You're just way out track dropping additional games for free. Like, what are you doing here? Keep reaching reach. What are you an idiot sandwich? <laughs> do you demand that friends or relatives announce what gifts they would give you months in advance, or do you not understand the concept of a surprise? Up there with the worst articles I read recently. He's just getting clowned. This guy, he, I, bro, it's, it's sad that this guy actually responded to this. Like, I would have just, like, this guy actually responded to this. I would have just, just, just ignored everything for this whole thing on mute. Because you are getting clowned to infinity, my guy. Like, jeez. For this dumb article. We literally want games to come out at random. This article is the only one saying otherwise. Like and only in this guy's mind is this a bad thing. Like I don't know who else would think this is a bad thing. You get good stuff for free. I was like, and nobody's gonna cause was a bad thing. This guy. 
OMG Xbox dropped a game on a service that adds games without telling me as well as coming three years in advance. I am the concerned. <laughs> Farming hate clicks. Yeah, if you gotta get some type of that's what type of charge you need, then you're this is just sad. Anything else? <laughs> Pretty accurate picture right there, I might add. Out of the hundreds of games that joined all of Game Pass 2022, how many were shadow dropped? Out of those, how many of those were Xbox Game Studio games? You're talking about this as if it's a trend. It's more of a one-of-a-kind thing that can't work for most other releases. Just chill. A dude just has a lot of question marks. Like, like <laughs> what? I am concerned that my website sucks and clicks are down. They're just, I, I'm just sorry that they're just putting outrageous stuff out there just so people can click on their websites at this point. And it's like, if you need to do that instead of just posting news, then it's just getting pathetic at this point. Jeez. It's worrying because they the play went well and the game's success, I think, is only worrying for you. Why is that? Because your bad takes and clickbait headlines to feel console wars would end. Hope more publishers do it, less negativity and more positivity. Man, the money the site generates must be bad if you go with such articles for clicks and ad revenue. Let's see if this game rent exists in a few years. No, it's not. Facepalm, slow news week. <laughs> the clickbait is real. You guys aren't even trying anymore. Do more of this, Xbox. Yeah, it's just it's so bizarre. <laughs> like it's just like nobody agrees with this guy, rightfully so, because this is like uh, like I said, nobody would say no to something that's free, that's amazing. Like uh, uh, it's just wow. Dumb articles like this are concerning. Salty Xbox in this thread, you love to see it. Are they really salty or they're just, or they're just calling this guy an uh, idiot? He just, just people are just pretty much calling this guy an idiot pretty much. So I don't think they're really salty. They're just saying, hey, what well, this guy posted was just dumb. And calling them out for it. So getting new games equals bad? Uh, when you call companies like this journalists, it's a smack in the face for people who actually do the work and the hard work. These are not gaming journalists. They are as credible as wrestling journalists. Two things are absolutely positively BS and filled with industry shields. Jeez. Okay. It's concerning for an established developer to drop an excellent game without warning. What's the concern? We'll be too excited and have heart attacks. This is certainly an opinion. Game rent is a joke. Shadow drop of games are bad. Read our crappy site to see why you cr dumb idiots. Okay. Uh, this is all has to do with how the publishers wish to promote the game, which is very successful. They shadow dropped and it showed to be very successful. People can't stop talking about this game. So at the end, it was a good, a good strategy right here. So just fascinating that you know you got or you got journalists saying this is a bad thing. Apparently, don't listen to this game pass. Game pass is on fire. Lovely, surprising the customer is a wonderful experience. Tell me this isn't real. Clown school must be going very well. Today's idiotic take from Games Media belongs to Games Rant. Yeah. Game Rant really turned into the next Kotaku. It's sad when you get compared to Kotaku. You don't see him with Kotaku now. Like, jeez. But yeah, it's, it's, people are just roasting this guy, as they should, because this is a dumb take right here. So, I'm going to conclude it right here. Don't be like Games Rant. It's like, if you get this down bad for clicks, then do something else at this point. <laughs> Fine, do something else. Like, this is just pathetic. But, definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching, and peace.